Right in the heart of downtown Cleveland sits a ghostly looking building overflowing with history. Cleveland's Gray's Armory was built in 1893. The men who worked in this building had a mission to keep peace in Cleveland. The regular army couldn't handle every civil upheaval that might ha happen, every problem that might arise, and the idea of a police force had yet to be invented. The Cleveland Grays were very connected. Congressmen and even presidents like McKinley and Wilson would stop by the army. But it's today's visitors who feel there is something very ghostly going on here. As you get upstairs by the piano, a lot of people have uh, reported seeing a woman in white. Um, that appears by the piano, no matter which floor the piano gets moved to. There have been doors which have locked, even though the locking mechanism no longer works. Voices have been heard in the basement when no one was there. There was a caregiver that used to come down here and play the piano late at night, and regularly while he would be down here doing that, he would watch the lady in white walk through the wall and also uh, Gray's members also walk through this wall in order to get to their bar on the other side. There's no doubt, the Gray's Armory is rich in history. As for the ghosts that are believed to be roaming its hallways, Kristen says that's something you're going to have to experience for yourself. I think the building's just old and creaks and sometimes things swell. I want more proof. Live on 5, I'm Michael Baldwin.